Hi, this is Hardik Agrawal from News Nine. Today we are here at Global Soccer Conclave, the third edition in uh, Navi Mumbai. I have with me Shaji Prabhakaran, the new Secretary General of AIFF. Hi, sir. How are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, thank you for having me today. Uh, what do you feel about the initiative that Amul Patel has put forward, GSC? Uh, do you think that this platform can help football grow in India? Absolutely, you know, this is the third edition of Global Soccer Conclave, and uh, I've seen it from the first edition. It has grown, and I think it will can grow much bigger. And uh, any platform which can bring in stakeholders and where are discussions and dialogue, that will only help uh, football to grow. Certainly, and so uh, as we know that Indian football was not at a good stage in the last few days. But we certainly know that the governance is in better hands now. So, as you are the new Secretary General now, so what can we expect from the future of Indian football? I think uh, uh, Kalyan Chobe becoming the president and a lot of eminent players uh, coming in, uh, part becoming part of the decision-making board, and we have an entirely new team. I am greatly looking forward to working with each of them. And uh, whatever we have to do for the betterment of Indian football, uh, we have to do, and we have to take along all the stakeholders. We need to have more consultation, more dialogue, and then take decision uh, which is for the good of the game. And I believe that you know, we will have a greater support uh, from uh, the government of India and also from different state governments as well, and because we need. Uh, you know more collaboration and especially at the grassroots level uh, more funding is required right. and uh, we need to grow the game at the base level and especially when the women's uh, under 17 fifa world cup is going to take place uh, uh, from october uh, we want to see more girls playing football and this is a fantastic opportunity and we want to Focus more and more on women's football as well, and really, you know, give them uh, a better platform, better opportunities, uh, and uh, whether you know uh, uh, to see like uh, how uh, you know our players more and more uh, can go and play in the European league, and there is already three of them are playing now. Right. And what are our preparations like for the World Cup upcoming Under 17 Women's World Cup? I think uh, it's going fine. I have not had you know have any discussion because I have not formally joined it. Therefore, uh, you know once I have an official meeting with the LOC, then only I'll be able to comment. Uh, but uh, I am absolutely sure and certain uh, that they are wor working uh, with their best uh, effort and uh, their plans and preparations are going in full swing. And I have no doubt. That we will uh, put up a great show and it will be a great success and uh, it, and we will uh, again exhibit uh, that India is a great country uh, to host a global event of the scale of uh, uh, FIFA Under 17 World Cup and much bigger events. Surely, and as we have uh, Mr. Chobe at the helm now, he has been the elected as a new president. He has a history of being a player. He was a goalkeeper, and he also has a political history. He's a leader in BJP. So, do you think that that particular mix will help the Indian football AIFF in particular in the coming years? Yeah, I have no doubt, and that is why you know, I have joined him and becoming part of his team. Right. Uh, that confidence I have, and I believe uh, in Now, him. Now, as a player, he he would be taking decisions in a better way. He knows what the player feels. In a particular situation, what Indian football needs, because he has been through that. Yeah, of course, you know, if he as a player, uh, definitely that experience comes in. But more, uh, uh, more than that, uh, you know, I believe that he is a, a better administrator as well, and uh, he will prove that. I have no doubt, and uh, that experiences of him as a player, uh, as a Political leader uh, also uh, will be of uh, help to Indian football, and uh, I'm greatly looking forward to working with him. And uh, together, along with all the member associations, uh, uh, our different stakeholders, uh, uh, ISL clubs, uh, I League clubs, and all the clubs in the districts, and our partner FSDL, 
and uh, who are all investing into indian football we want to make a strong team uh, and then you know come up with a road map uh, where uh, we will take indian football forward in a very very uh, structured way scientific way and uh, this is a great opportunity and i would urge uh, every football fan uh, to play a bigger role uh, in this uh, uh, journey so that uh, they can also contribute and they can also you know uh, feel uh, and uh, suggest uh, what is that you know they would also like to see also as we are talking about indian football indian football has had a very vibrant domestic culture but since the inception of isl and i league that has gone down a little as you were mentioning earlier in the speech today that we were at our peak in 50s and 60s and in but that that trigger went down in the last few decades i think uh, isl i league have only added uh, you know s- s- some strength to indian football so therefore there is no way uh, isl or i league uh, has you know uh, played any role uh, which has uh, uh, impacted negatively it is only taken indian football to a better level but then we need to see how we can structure everything in a way right. whereby you know there is uh, football uh, takes place from village to the city to the capital uh, and we need to have more clubs and As we need to we're talking about promotion and demotion today so even that needs to come into yeah i'm sure you know that is the, already there is a road map mm-hmm. and how we will implement and uh, that uh, i'm sure this will come and uh, right now i cannot comment on what would be the structure of when it will start and what level uh, and how many clubs or uh, those are the discussion we will leave it for other day where we will sit with all the stakeholders uh, and then decide together uh, uh, so that everyone uh, is party to you know everyone feels that uh, they have contributed uh, in putting something uh, which you know they will have to take forward and in the us and uh, even in europe we see that university football and university sports play a crucial role in the success of the sport in that particular country so can we expect indian football to grow by the means of university and colleges like can the universities and colleges act as a feed feeder route to the teams to the clubs to the national teams for players see our university sport Uh, structure right now is not comparable to what is in europe or in us but then there is a huge opportunity but how can we you know inculcate that yeah, culture in our system yeah we need to have discussion uh, with uh, those stakeholders who are uh, you know ma- running the university sports and uh, we would like to collaborate with them as well right. but right now uh i cannot say anything mm-hmm. how that will happen because uh, we need to sit uh, on a table and see how the university football or a college football school football and uh, can be structured but uh, there is a huge potential in all those uh, areas uh, we ha- we can only you know move up right and do you think that if this happens then the commercialization aspect that is missing like Indian football is not able to attain the commercialization that it deserves. People on people are watching European football, but not enough Indian fans are coming to watch their Indian teams play. So, do you think that through colleges and universities, those crowd that will be coming from colleges and university can act as a medium for commercial commercialization? See, that's a uh, no, no doubt. We have to improve. Uh, the commercial aspect of football and that's how it will become sustainable and for that uh, it's not about university or a college uh, it's about community mm. uh, and uh, how big is our community and how they are engaged and uh, that is where uh, you know we have to work out a plan strategy and where the clubs will play bigger role you know and it's not that directly you work with the university and then things will change no if the clubs have to uh, become you know fulcrum of that community where b- the fans uh, can you know grow in bigger number so there are you know bigger fans uh, base ra- also there today but then these numbers have to grow bigger and bigger right. and some of the clubs are 
quite good in terms of fan numbers, engagement and all. Uh, but then across the club, you know, it also need to go down to I-League club and then below also. Even the community is, uh, size is smaller, but then as long as that community is involved in, 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 with the club, you know, that's how we will grow uh, football. And the atmosphere will be there. Even in a local village match, if 200 of them watching and supporting uh, the team uh, where, you know, where they belong, you know, that creates Change an environment. So that is yeah. what, you know, we need to uh, think and create. But then it's not uh, that easy. You know, a lot of hard work need to uh, happen there. And we need to collectively uh, work on those uh, areas. And I'm sure, you know, there are solutions. But then we need to find collective solutions. Uh, and, uh, each of the stakeholders have to play their own role. And we as a federation, uh, we will be, uh, we should be there. We will be there to facilitate what all we need to do. And uh, we will also like to, you know, engage all the stakeholders much actively as possible. One final question. Uh, what was the main reason behind Baiching Bhutia's disappointing defeat in the AIFF presidential elections, according to you? I have no comment to make on that. See, it was an election and you know, one will lose, one will win. Yeah, And it's like a football match. You know, someday uh, you score big, someday you win by one nil. Yeah, So, therefore, you know, it's... Uh, uh, it's you know we need to move on uh, with that discussion and Bai Chung is part of the team uh, right. he, you know he what he has achieved for Indian football we salute to him and uh, we will have to be guided by him and we will be sitting across to him you know discussing whenever possible wherever possible uh, we will uh, want uh, uh, to involve him and we will uh, engage him and I'm sure he will uh, be willing contribute uh, willing be part of us because he also loves football he wants to see Indian football rise right. and every each of us wants you know and therefore he also fought election uh, you know to war for what to take Indian football forward so therefore he has not lost yeah, yeah? yeah. so therefore you know we as we are a team yeah that match is over so now you know we are in a uh, you know different uh, atmosphere now very well said, Shaji. That was Secretary General AIFF, Shaji Prabhakaran. This is Hardik Agrawal at GSC 3.0 with cameraman Rahul Singh signing out.